Hey what's going on guys, Casual here, welcome to a new video. So recently I found like a lot of people have been having a lot of issues with the performance issues in Rust. Um, the game in general is just poorly optimized for every computer, even if you got like the best computer in the world, it wouldn't really make much of a difference. So I've personally got a 1050 Ti and they think about to RAM like an i5-4460, so it's not the best computer but um, it's not the worst either, so I could, it should definitely run this game perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, so I've included a link in the description down below. Uh, that's off a YouTuber, forgot his name, it'll be on screen now. But there will also be a link in the description uh, to his channel. But anyways, I just keep going to this off his, uh, off of his um, video because it really helps out. And I think, um, yeah, I might as well include it. So, basically, we uh, go onto your Steam launcher right here, um, get this up, the launch options, and so this is basically what it is, so uh, the amount of RAM you have in your computer, um, I hope you know how much RAM you have, or if you don't, right click the bottom of here, if you're on Windows 10 or whatever, and click system, and it should say like 4GB, 8GB, 16 or whatever it has, well, like, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, so personally, I've got um, 16 gigabytes, so this is going to work out fine for me because it says like, so align with this, so you got 16, put it here. So if mine was 6 gigabytes, I just put, oh, 8 gigabytes, man. Um, let's chuck that up there. And it'll, uh, and it'll put 6 gigabytes to your, to Rust, so. But I've, as I've got 16, um, I'm just going to chuck here, chuck this here. Um, but yeah, so, and I've also got, um, 8 threads and 8 cores, so, um, yeah, that's fine. Hey, but, if you're having any issues, there's plenty of YouTube, other YouTube tutorials out there. But anyways, go, there's properties, launch, uh, set launch options, paste that in there, and press OK. And then close it, and it should be good to go, and then just restart your Rust. Um. But yeah, there's also another trick, so while we keep this open, um, go ahead and go to local files and then press uh, verify integrity of game files. This will just make sure that everything's here. And if you, because if you don't have some of the, the main game files of Rust, maybe they are corrupted or something, um, it can definitely put a big performance issue. Um, like a big one too, it could like slow down your game a lot. So if you go ahead and just press that, uh, obviously, I got mine still open, so it won't let me, but uh, it just says yes, and then uh, it'll go through and check every, every file of the game and check if it's all there or not. Uh, I hope there's, it's most likely going to all still be there, but it's, might as well, might as well check it. Um, but, anyways, so going into Rust, actually, not going into Rust, we're going to go ahead and close down both of these notepad things. If they're gonna, they don't want to close. Okay. Um, anyways, go to config on in the file. Um, really, these five right here. I've created an extra one, uh, which is my personal settings for my computer. Um, but yeah, there's five here. Go ahead and just really, just be honest with yourself. Like, how good's your computer? Um, how what if type of FPS do you want out of the like, your game? So if you're on like ultra low end, that's gonna look like an absolute potato, but it's gonna give you a lot of FPS. So it's really depending on what you want. But if you've got like a really nice computer and you think you can run the game alright, even if it's on higher settings, um, just use this. But these are all before um, optimized. So um, they're optimized for like the best settings that um, for Rust and getting rid of all like the trashy ones that really just aren't optimized at all. Um, so, go ahead, whatever you want, um, I'm just gonna use this, just mine, I'm gonna get this, open it up, and then copy this, go to Steam, go to Rust, Properties, um, Local Files, Browse Local Files, um, and then go to CFG, right click, paste, okay, and then just press replace the file in destination, which will replace the, the copy, I mean the file you just copied with this one 
and change all the settings but i'm not going to do that because this is my these are my settings that i already have um, but yeah I'll paste it with all these things um reloaded reload your rust close it and reopen it and then you should have pretty good performance uh there should be a pretty decent boost personally mine's on 143 and i'm in the the hud screen obviously so i'm not gonna look like while i'm in game rendering all these trees and everything like that but um, in game i usually get like 80 90 fps which is pretty good for a 1050 ti so yeah if you enjoyed this um let's go ahead and put a like on the video um help out but anyways cheers thank you guys see you next time